Hello everybody, my name is Katim and welcome back for another video of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to continue this series. Now we are left uh, with Uncle, so we just got to talk. We did a big jump in time, I guess. We got our wrench now, which looks mu uh, so much better already. It does look better. I mean, the house should be definitely better than that. And we don't have any agriculture plant or anything, so we want it to be doing some farming but i guess we're not doing anything about that we're john is probably trying but i don't know guys don't think it's working out so much my hair is growing my beard is growing and everything it's the lombago i am i overdo it I, i'll get a relapse it's very serious get up or get out you can be so testy what is it constipation guess you're my proof i'll never quite outrun my sins got so sanctimonious in your old age no wonder she left you it's like rooming with the king james bible <laughs> get up Ow! I, I, i'm getting up oh no wait what did i have to tell you i, I went into town and oh I got, I got a little drunk oh shit well we gotta go we gotta go to saint denis charles charles smith is alive i reckon charles smith alive really I reckon this I dreamed it all and by the sound of it not doing too good neither Come on, let's get off. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. Go so back in San Denis, guys. All right. Apparently, Uncle just told us that Charles was still alive. What? We forgot Charles with us as well. That might help. Uh, that might help us, guys. I didn't. I don't remember already if Charles survived or not. I'm stupid. Ask about Charles at the saloon, okay? Or the fence. We're gonna ask about him in the saloon because normally the saloon is where everybody goes. So Charles in Saint Denis. Why would he go back there, though? That's the most interesting thing about all of this is the fact that he goes back to Saint Denis exactly. I don't know, guys. Let's just... Oh, my God. The pole is blocking me. There we go. On, Let's just go back and uh, see if we can talk to uh, the barman or anything. Figure it out if uh, Charles was uh, actually there from or not. Here we are. The saloon, guys. Where? Where is it? Is that the saloon right there? or? Okay, I think that's it right here, actually. Whoa, whoa, I'm going way too fast. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everyone, for uh, making a ruckus right here. I gotta change my brightness on my screen. I don't know why, what I just did. Okay, boys, I fixed my screen. I'm not sure if it works out or not, but I don't know why my brightness was all the way up or something. All right. Do you know about uh, a feather named Charles or something? Hey, partner. Might he be alive? Indian guy. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yes, he was with the Indians. That's right. He went off with the, the Indians. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. I think he's, he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Oh, so he's a fighter now. Now he's a boxer or something. That's interesting. Either he wrestles or he boxes. That's very interesting that he... So he did not He did, did decide to not stick with the Indians, I guess. I thought he would stick with the Indians or something, but I guess he uh, went back here. He went back in town. Oh, you're there, uncle. Right, apparently, Charles is a boxer now. So this out. He told me Charles was here. Not one of life's great mysteries, turns out. You still love a surprise, but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. Let's figure this out. There's a lot of people here, so it's definitely the truth. Is that you, Charles? 
He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only... She left me. Uh, excuse me. That's so good to see him again, guys. Got a new... Another friend. No, I... Everybody that basically survived, not a lot of them. That's basically the last one that survived. Okay. Funny thing. It's so good to be uh, be back with these the good guys, you know. What about you, sir? A little wager on the wolf? Absolutely, a wager on my on my friend at all times. Bet against Charles? Bet on Charles? Why would I bet against him? It's my buddy. I'll put my money on him, man. All right, let's go, guys. I believe in Charles, man. He's the best. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, he's gonna win for sure. I would never bet against Charles. I mean, come on now. That would be ridiculous. An Indian Hercules? Okay, if you say so. You know how this works. No weapons. No forfeiting. No crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout. You win by retirement. Or you win by death. That's interesting. You go all the way to death even. Alright. Let's, let's try this out. Let's see who's gonna win guys. Let's go. It went dark real quick. Alright. I believe in you Charles. Let's go. Yeah, don't black out just yet, huh? Don't be like Micah. Let's go. You got this. Do this for Arthur, buddy. You got this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, there we go. Easy win. See, I got my money. I got my money right there. You always bet on the on your friends. Never know what's gonna happen. It's it's goddamn Charles for Christ's sake. Obviously he's gonna win. Made my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. We've just made the bed. I said we. So you keen on staying around here, or heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. Well, I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. I don't know about Uncle, though, guys. I mean, he seems like a nice guy and all, but I don't know about him. All right. I've, I'm, I got a feeling that he's still working for uh, Dutch, which if it's the case, he's definitely a bad guy. But I saw him the first in the first game. I saw him with John, so I don't know, guys. He gets killed in the first game too. So I, I don't know, guys. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm pretty sure he's working with Dutch. He's probably just a spy or something. Because it's not normal that he just went to me like that. It made me go after Charles too. Because Sadie went on her own. She wrote me a letter. He gave... Literally uncle gave, like went to me. Face to face. So I don't know about all that yet. I don't know how I'll feel about that. He's acting kind of strange. Sometimes. It's not the goddamn lumbago, alright? It's not about that. It's something else. I'm telling you. And this Chinese man is blocking the route of uh, of Charles. Can you get it out of the way, please? There we go. Perhaps 
Might have come looking. Oh, we're not dead. You thought probably thought we were dead because Dutch said so. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but well, there was only Arthur who died. Uh, well, not only Arthur, but a bunch of people died. But said he's still alive. Well, that's about it. Aside from me and uh, Uncle, no, I mean, there's also Abigail. Of course, we already told God. him. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time, or since before I got off Sisica. Looking to sell they picked up the Strauss. The agents. And a real mess of them. Oh shit, Strauss is what? Yeah, that's right, Strauss. There's still a lot of people alive. The ones that are alive are basically the ones that left. The ones that are not alive or still lucky to be alive are the ones that, like us, who left. Okay. Uh, or left at the very end. You know, Boy. stick the uh, stack. On to the very beginning. On to the very end. So Strauss got picked up by the Pickermans. That's not good for him. What do you want now? Come over here. What now? Well, you go left. I go right. On three. Three. All right then. The hell do you want? I doubt these are Pinkertons. I'm not sure if these are uh, because it's the Pinkertons or like or it's something else. Oh god, the cops are on us. Go to the wagon with Charles. All right, let's go then. Now we're on the dead or alive. That's uh, that's the reason why Abigail left us in the first place because we were doing shit like this. Oh well. Oh shit, hang on. Can I? There we go. Come on. Hey, yeah. I got you. Let's go. We're good. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge, going out of town. West. Hold on. All right, Charles. I believe in you. We got this. You see this shit is crazy, though. Oh, yeah. It's good to be back with Charles, but got a feeling this is just gonna cause more trouble, uh, more problems, uh, trouble for us. Anyone? It's not gonna be good at all. You know, it's gonna cause more problems. Oh my god, you just ran over a guy, my boy. What are you doing? Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. They take us in. We won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. Yeah, they both don't want to be in a shootout situation. But uh, Charles is telling the truth. I'm pretty sure Strauss is not even alive. He's probably barely alive or barely keeping it together. He wasn't made strong too. Pinkerton's probably killed him, so... That's not good. If they pick us up, we're messed. Like, it's over for us if we uh, they pick us up. We're not gonna survive this, so we need to survive this. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know what you were doing, Uncle. I don't trust you anymore. I, I really don't. There's something fishy about you right there. Cutting some wood. Alright, let's go. We're still uh, we're back at our camp. Oh, Sadie has a new mission for us. Okay. We got a new mission with Sadie, guys. I imagine, yeah, Charles is with us, too. So, if we get Sadie back... We're gonna have a whole camp again, once again. He has a Vendorling gang, new one, back again. I guess we're gonna do the Uncle mission first, though. I ran into him. Again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two-dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. 
Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Wait, are you guys serious? We're just breaking that apart? Well, we're going to build a new house, though. Uncle, are you si Okay, then. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Why are we doing this? Like, why are we breaking apart my house? That's it. Man, I was alone. I got, got myself a new house. I bought it and everything. I still have to pay for that house, don't you think? Remember that, uncle. See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <laughs> Whip him if you have to. I love it. I love it. Okay, we just broke our goddamn house for no reason. I mean, I guess uncle wants us to live in a better place, but we bought that entire field. Our entire land belongs to us okay, Missy. like what are we gonna do now how are we gonna build a new house okay you know what I'm not even gonna ask Sadie where are you at are you still in Valentine no she's not she's in Blackwater now okay looks like it's the only mission we've got let me see really quick if I can actually fast travel is the fast travel system a, still a thing or is it completely gone like I wonder that I, I kind of want to see if I can't uh, fast travel. It would be pretty great. Oh, yes, there it is. There's the fast travel. All right, it's still a thing, guys. Nice. Let's just fast travel to Blackwater then. Okay, we're back in Blackwater. Let's go talk to Sadie. I don't know if she is. Oh, yeah, she's definitely going to be still there. The saloon is still open. She's in the saloon always, guys. Okay, I'll leave you. Uh, um, we might actually tell her now that we have Charles with us. We have Hong Kong too. That's the situation that's changed ever since I have uh, I was alone. She's back in her old costume too. What's up, Sadie? Hello, Sadie. Oh, John, <laughs> come sit down. Sure. You uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? My time. All three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How do you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. Sal, now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. All right, of Sadie. We do. Let's do it. Let's go rob them, I guess. 
She's got a, such a nice horse too though. I don't know how she managed to get a pink horse somehow. It's probably just the color. It looks pink or it's not. I don't know. Don't oh, ask me guys. Just gotta follow her now. Alright, I'm right behind you. Wherever we go, I don't know where you want to uh, get me. A stable horn? Yeah, well, they are all mean. Arthur already knew about that, uh, the old horse selling thing. I never really did it with him. I don't think I'm gonna do it, John, anyways. Not gonna play really outside of the stories. Here we go. Looks like we have arrived, guys. Looks like we have arrived. Just gotta find the bond, the other bounty hunter. Figure out where he is. Try some stuff and uh, and everything. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Okay, let's see what we can find out here. This is so cool. I love just. Feel like it's just uh, it's just cool to stick with CD, stick with um, the old pals and everything. Like you were all alone when you were, when we were alone, basically with Abigail. I felt alone, really, in the farm and everything. It was cool with the farm, but felt alone because there was only Abigail. And Abigail, to be quite honest, I never liked her. I really never liked her. But Charles, Uncle, Sadie, I like all of them. I really like them a lot. So it's really good to have an act actual friends, actual people you can trust and like, like uh, talk to with you. Where do you think they're heading? Okay, let's go then. Let's go ahead and follow them, guys. Stamina, we got level 8 stamina now. Let's go. I'm waiting for you, Sadie. I'm just like, I can't go anywhere until you tell me. There we go. I gotta follow her too. Let's go. Alright, I'm following you, Sadie. Let's go. I'm gonna um, make sure that I've got everything I need. I'm gonna put out my shotgun, double barrel shotgun. No, Lancaster carabine repeater is the best one. Got my uh, my two weapons right here. Looks like I'm fine. All right, let's go. Got uh, all my good weapons. Let's do this shit, guys. I'm loving it. They'll be coming through here. Okay. Uh, where's? So we're gonna just just cut uh cut through here, guys. Let's just go go and. I guess talk. Oh my god. Are we just gonna jump there right here? Or? We follow and keep an eye on them. Oh, we follow them from the top? Okay. Okay. Yeah. We just follow them from the mountain. Alright. Let's be careful not fall to our death right here. That would not be too, too cool. Not be great at all. You won't get north through here? What are you doing, huh? Talking to me or Langton? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my fuck! Are you what? Did you just see that, guys? Oh my god, there's the vintage Arthur uh, moment right there. But except I'm John. That's the first time it happens to me as since I was John. Oh my god, the, the infamous horse problems. I can't believe it. Try to jump over the rock, then it happen. Yeah, what happens, guys? I gotta look where I'm going. Yeah, Sadie's talking to herself. You're not crazy, Sadie. I do that all the time. Then again, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Where are they going? Get off your horse. This might be our chance. Okay. So what are we doing? I like I get uh, how uh, somehow I got all of um, the, the Arthur's weapons and his hat too. Might as well just get his costume while I'm at it, you know. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work? Yeah, exactly. 
That's 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 nice of you to say, but. All right. So what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity. But uh, it's your call. Sneak or threaten the gang? Sneak or shoot the gang? I'm gonna just threaten them because I'm not like Arthur. I don't shoot all the way up. So I'm not gonna sneak. I'm a, a really bad at stealth. I'm just gonna go ahead and threaten them. I reckon you threaten them and I'll cover you. Okay. Get over there and cover me. Okay, let's go. We're just gonna threaten them. Hey! Hey! James Langton! You robbed me! That bastard is mine! Give it back to me or I'll murder every last one of you! I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to walk away! You got 10 seconds! Give it back! Counting man, I'm giving you a chance to survive. Alright then. Bunch of fucking stupid idiots. There we go. Oh my god, I'm I'm really bad at shooting. Uh, this height I can't I've got the vertigo at this height, man. Can't shoot from this height. There we go. Oh my god. Let's go. Don't miss your shot. Don't miss your Where is he? He's right there. You goddamn Sadie, you don't need me. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go there. My god, I'm gonna fuck Remedy, remedy, remedy. Fuck again. You know what? I get I went away and just uh, I went ahead and just skipped the goddamn checkpoint because it's not doable. I tried so many times to fucking get it. We got him captured. We got him uh Can we go now? We got the guy at least. For Christ's sake! They just won't leave us alone. That was a terrible plan, Sadie. That's my part, I guess. I guess the only thing we could have done is sneak on them. But then again, it would have just turned out into a shootout like this anyways. There's nearly nothing we can do. Shit is terrible. Oh my god. Just fucking leave us alone. Fucking get out of here, man. This is ours. Bitch. There we go. Let's leave us alone. There we go, I got him. Got him with my shotgun. They won't get anywhere near us. Fucking yay, guys. Can't believe this. I literally died like 10 times or something. I really tried, but... Forget it. I can't do it. Just gotta skip the checkpoint. That's one thing I do love about uh, Red Dead, though. Think something that happened. That's the first time I actually had to skip a checkpoint, though. But uh, you can actually skip the checkpoint and just go right into the story if you struggle too much. That's at least a good thing. Because that shit was way too ridiculous. Are you going to speak? I don't know there's really much to say. You ain't gone soft in these years, have you? Do I seem soft? What's gotten into you? Finley's dead. Langton's dead, his men. But you ain't getting robbed no more, so... Listen, John. I have to stick up for myself. No one else will. They were bad men. I know. I know. The truth is, I might be more cut out for this work than ranching. Or having a family. Maybe killing's all up. Now don't think like that, John. That ain't the truth, John. Yeah, that ain't the truth. Come on now, John with grandkids around just you gotta pay for it is all i don't know if you can do both i get these thoughts yeah that's what the drink is for you're fishing you're anything you're strong enough to handle it i hope i am sometimes in the past that ain't always been the case well john you'll figure it out you'll figure it out all right you got this, John. No worries. You'll be a ranch. You'll be a farmer in no time. All right. Let's show this body. Let go your past already. Read that bounty poster, right? We'll see. Yeah, I hope that bounty is worth it, guys. Your son. Bring him and put him on a bed. All right. Let's just pick him up. Let's remove him. Pick him up. Get him into the saloon right there. That's funny because that's exactly the same place where. 
I got my other bounty uh, when I did a, a, a solo bounty. What's up, buddy? I got another one for you. Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame. I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out back, would you? I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well... If you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're retired, John. Now, let's not... Oh my god, $150 for that? Yo, that was worth it a lot, guys. That was a lot. All right. What's the other mission right now? We're not going to do it, but I just want to see it. Is this the same city? Albert Case. Uncle said you can buy a pre-cut house in Bel... Okay, so... Blackwater, guys? Let's go uh, buy ourselves a house, I guess. We got just got $150 for a guy that uh, said mission just for that. Okay, so that's really cool. Alright, guys. I'm going to leave you right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Keep it easy.